Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Unveiling Human Treachery and Oppression from Al Albayt al Islam to today. We've been on a journey exploring the motivations and individuals behind acts of treachery. In this discussion, we're going to take a closer look at the signs that suggest treachery might be unfolding. Our goal is to help you and ourselves recognize these signs as they're unfolding and understand the circumstances that often accompany acts of betrayal. One of the first signs that something might be amiss is a sudden shift in behavior or attitudes. This could be a change in how a person or group is interacting with others or a sudden reversal on important issues. These shifts are often driven by underlying motivations such as a desire for power, control, or self-preservation. Another sign to watch out for is the spread of misinformation or propaganda. Individuals who are planning treacherous acts often employ these tactics to manipulate public opinion and discredit those they plan to betray. This can involve spreading false information, twisting truth, or creating narratives that suits their agenda. A sudden increase in secrecy and clandestine activities can also be a sign that treachery is afoot. Those plotting betrayal often operate in the shadows, they don't come forward apparently keeping their plans hidden from those they intend to betray. This can involve secret meetings, covert communications, or actions that can deliberately keep out of the public eye. The use of intimidation or threats is another common sign of treachery. Those planning to betray often resort to these tactics to silence the opposition and maintain control. This can involve threats of violence, legal action, or other forms of intimidation aimed at suppressing dissent. The manipulation of laws or regulations can also be a sign of treachery. Those plotting betrayal often manipulate the system to their advantage, bending or breaking the rules to achieve their goals. This can involve the misuse of legal system, the abuse of power or the exploitation of loopholes in regulations. Lastly, the marginalization or persecution of certain groups or individuals can be a sign of treachery and betrayal. Those who are plotting to betray often target those they perceive as threats, marginalizing them or even subjecting them to persecution in order to maintain their own power and control. Recognizing these signs can help us anticipate and even prevent acts of treachery. It can help us understand the actions of those in power and guide us in our responses. It's important to remember that these signs are not definitive proof of treachery, but they can provide valuable clues about the intentions and motivations of those in power. As I conclude, in our next episode, we will delve deeper into the consequences of such activities and the impact it has on societies and individuals. We will be talking about case studies, how such events have unfolded in history and they're unfolding right now. Join us as we continue to unveil the treachery and oppression that has been hidden in the pages of history. This is Unveiling Human Treachery and Oppression from Ahl Bayt al-Islam to today.